The spring 2018 season has a lot to be excited about. You have things like My Hero Academia, Tokyo Glory, Steins Gate Zero, Food Wars, and that is just a few of the big names. But as good as these might be, I like taking a look at the more obscure shows because there always seems to be at least a couple that come along and surprise me. And among these, you will find Maho Shoujo Ore. And more than pretty much everything else, this is the one I am excited to see. Now, if you have not heard of this show, that means you haven't been talking to me much. But if that is the case, let me give you a summary of Mao's summary. It is a show about a girl who is an idol and in love with her best friend's brother, who is also an idol. She gets kidnapped, she has to go save him, and turns into a magical girl to do so. Except, she doesn't turn into a magical girl. She turns into a magical guy. Now, if you know me, you know that I love Gonna Be the Twin Tails, which has a similar concept where the main guy turns into basically a magical girl, and then saves the world from these aliens who want to steal the love of Twin Tails from the world. If you've not done so, go watch that show. It's amazing. Or at least I think it is. So, the idea here for Maho Shoujo Ore that you have a main character changing genders as they transform to fight? That seems fun just because of how ridiculous it is. But a ridiculous concept alone is not enough to make the show fun. Yes, it helps, it's a good start, but there needs to be something more. And after watching the second PV for the show, I really do think it will have this something more. Now, I don't speak Japanese, nor is the PV subtitled, so I'm not entirely sure what they're saying, but I think I got the gist of what was going on. Throughout the PV, we have the foundations of how the characters in the story here, seeing like how the main girl likes the guy she does, how she cares about him, along with her goals of becoming an idol. There is an amount of care that we see here that the show has given us a foundation to who these characters are before they start throwing weird things at them. Even without the absurd elements, this is a story that I might like. You have a girl getting powers by evil to save the world and trying to help the guy that she loves. While simple, this could make a good story. I also like the music here, and it was able to show the different things that the show is going to do. You have more somber, tragic tracks, and you have more uplifting tracks about being a hero. And while I do not speak much Japanese, I can recognize the word hero being spoken by the main girl, and I love stories about heroes in pretty much all their forms. And the theme that plays in the latter part of the PV even sounds like something right out of Boku no Hero too, so that's a good sign. I'm also excited because the villain's looking, well, just look on screen, you'll see. This proves that there is more to one gimmick that the show has, which will keep the show from getting too old. There have been some absurd comedies that start off really funny, but then they basically show all their creativity in the first episode and nothing else. And while we do not know exactly where the show is going, this shows that they will continue to hopefully have funny elements being added to the story. I'm also hopeful because this is based off a complete manga. So we will hopefully not have any read the manga endings here. Though for this show in particular, it's based off a 12 chapter manga, which doesn't seem like enough for a full anime, though we'll have to see what they do. But as a whole, lots of reasons that I am excited and you should be too if you're like me. And if you're not like me, you probably might just think the show is weird. And that's okay, that's okay. From the PV, we have the foundation of interesting story and characters, and this will let the craziness build off of it to be really fun. And it will also have the types of music that will amplify the emotional impact, both of the triumphant hero, but also the more emotional or maybe even tragic parts, even though I'm guessing the tragedy will be played for comedy. And since I am someone who can take absurd things seriously, well, this show really does seem like the perfect thing for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are as excited for Maho Shoujo Ore as I am. Yes, there might be something wrong with me, but that's okay. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Sounds up.